Hi everyone. Um, I keep getting asked about um, things I've got in the store. Um, they can't see this or people can't see that. Um, everything I'm going to show you now is actually in the store. Um, so I'm just going to run through them quickly. Um, this, I mean, there's this and a lot of other things as well. But it's the jewellery people keep saying, where's this, where's that? It is there. There are several pages. I'm not sure if you're looking at the bottom, scroll down to the bottom of the first page and you can link on to other pages. So maybe that's what you're doing and you're not getting it, uh, seeing that at the bottom of the page. But this is the uh, charms. These are made by me. These are the handmade charms. You can see they're quite big, some of them. And I use the best pearls. Um, I use really good quality uh, spacers. Uh, and beads um, so you know there's things like that on the st in the store um, and like I say they're made by me so I'm just going to put that back in the box um, again I do the 6 inch stick pins as well oh sorry just let me get the phone hello no not yet alright then Whatever. Yeah. Well, we'll just have a drive about and see. Yeah, no. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, all right then. I go there with Julie. We're, well, we go we go to Harrogate, and we just have a scout round all the shops. All right then. Well, just ring me on your way so that I'm ready, because I have to lock up and that. All right then. All right, bye. Sorry about that, folks, but that was my daughter. We're going for a meal. Um, I'm just going to do this because it's been banging about in the box, and I, uh, sorry. Swing that round, that's it. Um, yeah, the six inch stick pins. And they've got the little caps on. Now these, what I use, are the backs of earrings. If they've not already come with them on. Um, some do and some don't. But there you go, so they're nice stick pins. And they, you know, they're fab. But again, they are, they are definitely on the uh, Etsy store. Okay. Uh, these are other ones, uh, more made by me, because people are asking me, they want the charms made by me and they can't find them. They are there. They are. Honest. Okay, so here's another one. This is one with the tassels on. And you're getting an... I mean, I'll tell you what I have done as well, ladies and gents. I've actually been on and reduced some of the prices uh, because I don't want stock laid there. I like to shift my stock and then move on to the next bit. So I have gone on and redu uh, reduced some of the prices um, this weekend. So if you haven't been on another look lately, go on and have a look because it, there might be something there that suits your pocket. I do try and make it that everyone can afford uh, things. But these are fantastic. So you're getting this one, which you can take off. You can dismantle it from there. Just unhook it from there. And use on a project. Plus you're getting the uh, tassel. And on the end of everything is something that you can actually... I mean, that's a beautiful glass bead. They're not plastic, they're glass. Um, and you can dismantle those. Use the chain elsewhere or hang them individually on something. So they're great. And I call these the Fifi charms. You know, you've got all sorts you could use. So you're getting all of those charms, plus that one. Um, and I like the idea that you can dismantle it all for your project. And like I said, the prices have been reduced. Um, if they're there so long, I always reduce the price just to move them on, because I don't want things sat there. It, I like people to be able to use them. Um, and I don't charge a lot as it is, but I do reduce it if I have to. Um... Because I don't want it sat on the shop. Uh, the pin. A beautiful bead cap. Like a leafy bead cap. And they're expensive to buy. But like that. So they can actually be taken off and you can use the pin as something else. Everything I try and make, you can either dismantle it and use it somewhere else or use as is. Again, we've got some of these. 
they're just simple ones but I mean they've, they've got the best crystals you can see look at the quality you see the shine on them the best crystals the best beads lovely beautiful look at this with the roses in gorgeous crystals and glass beads I just adore them I think they're you know lots of charms um, I do have some pins that are on there as well for you to make your own, like the kilt pin. Uh, we have the tassels. You're getting six tassels. Um, and look, they're perfect for any alteration projects or anything like that. And the good quality ones are not cheap rubbish. So we've got the tassels on there and you get six. I made it so you've got different colours. Don't forget, you can also dye them. I've still got some stick pins on there. These are made, I mean, these are gorgeous. And they are made with the best crystals. And these are teardrop ones. Look, stunning. Absolutely stunning. Beautiful pearls and more crystals at the top. So I do have some of those on there. Shush, boys, please. The little flower buttons, again, I've gone in and reduced the prices on those as well. Um, because they're great for flower centres. I've still got this kit as well. There's only a, a few left though. A lot of these have sold already. But they're all the flat back pearls. A little bit of trim, pearly trim. Uh, flat back pearls, crystals. Quite a few cr uh, crystals for your stick pins. Nice large one. So we've got some of those kits. I've got some of these kits. These are the... Um, the chipboard embellishments with the bling you get two lots of bling and you're getting a variety of pastel coloured rosettes to go on you I mean you don't even have to keep them on the leaves just pull them off and use the little rosettes dotted here there and everywhere on your projects so we've got those little kits I do have these there's not many left at all which are the crystal uh, like a crystal they are acrylic but they look crystal pink very pale shabby sheep shabby chic pink buttons the uh, lamp work beads, uh, again these have been reduced as well, but you're getting a really good, now everybody knows lamp work beads cost a fortune, but I've done a selection for you that you can use in your projects and your stick pins um, and put them on really cheap. So that's those, here's another, because um, you can't always see the size online, look, it's huge, absolutely huge, and these are beautiful silver inlaid uh, glass beads, a charm, there, I've got all the soldering stuff that I need to do, the soldering work, so I'm going to be doing that next, doing the soldering jewellery, but I'm, I break up next Thursday and I'm going to leave it till then, because you do need to have time for that, more lamp work beads, these are like, be I mean they're absolutely gorgeous for stick pins, and you get two of each colour, and I've reduced those as well, again, I make the tassels. You know, I do an awful lot of uh, crafts, of different crafts. And they're the gorgeous, gorgeous tassels that I make by hand. Crystals, pearls, beautiful beadwork. Okay, so that's those. These are stunning. Absolutely stunning. I know Belinda's bought some of these, that's Junk Shop Junkie, and I'm just going to show you one of them. They are the silver inlay glass pearl, the large one, with the metal pearl. These are rose, roses, rosettes in there, in the crystals. Again, the large crystal and then a um, lampwork bead with a rose on it. They're absolutely stunning, and I have gone in... Um, I don't know if I've reduced these. I don't think I have, because they're well worth what I'm asking. I'm, in fact, I'm charging... Not enough for them. I'm not charging enough, that's what I should be saying. So I've kept them as they are. I do have these, which are the 45 acrylic various uh, beads for a set price. Um, you won't get them cheaper anywhere else. I know that because I've searched. Uh, and you get in different shapes. Um, heart shapes, squares, butterflies. Lots and lots and lots of different acrylic flowers, uh, flowers, uh, embellishments to put on you, and don't forget, I've done the stick pin, I show you the butterfly stick pin, how to make that, and it's gorgeous, 
And then these are the um, few bits that I made as well. These are the brooches. Now I have to say, this is the small one and these are the larger ones. And you can hear them, the loose, look, they're a pin. And I have to tell you, I looked these up online, um, not just on Etsy and Zibit, but I looked up on the shops, you know, the local high street shops. And my God, are they ripping you off? They are. I mean, they are nice. They are the best pearls and the best crystals. Um, but they're selling them in the high street. They're selling them for anything up to fifteen ninety nine for one of those. And they are made by hand. No getting away from it. But they, they're not worth that, even though they're, they're really nice. And I'm sorry to disappoint anybody who's bought them. But um, the prices I've got them up for is a very good price for them. And um, I made those and I think they're absolutely gorgeous for a project or to wear. You know what I mean? You can if you want to because you do. This is what I say about thinking outside the box. This can unpin. You can unclip that and take the back off and then clip that. Well, I wouldn't unpin it. Just take this off. Just pull that off with your uh, pliers. It just comes off. Um, and then glue that onto a headband or something. Well, isn't that fabulous? And they glisten. Uh, so I've done a small and I've done the two large. And they're up for sale. But please, please, remember, they are handmade with the best crystals and best pearls. And they're not rip-off prices. You need to look in the high streets and see how much they are. So they're well worth buying. So that's those. Um, I will make some in different colours as well. So that's that basically. It's just to give you an idea. They are on the shop. I know people say they're not. Scroll down the first page to the very bottom and then it'll give you one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, or however many I've got on there pages. And uh, there's all sorts. Uh, lots and lots of other embellishments as well. Um, and have fun. Take care. Grab them while you can. Oh, and by the way, I've reduced all the, um, not the grab bags of beads, because you are definitely getting a really good bag in there. And the, um, I've put lots of uh, bags of jewellery up, so they're just jewellery pieces uh, with no beads. Oh, God, obviously there's beads in the jewellery, but I'm just saying, uh, all the uh, jewellery embellishments I've put up uh, in bag lots and... Um, I put them up at £7, but to be honest, I've cut them down to £5, and I'm, I'm not going any cheaper than that, but I've just done loads, there's quite a few on there of mixed lots, go out, grab them while you can, um, because you won't get them cheaper anywhere else, all the work has been done for you, and you, you know, people don't take that into consideration when they're buying something, um, all the jewellery bags that I've done so far, everything I do with jewellery, when I bought it either from a car boot or wherever, I sit and dismantle for hours and I take it all apart, I clean it all up before I sell it on. So, you know, what I'm asking, even at £7, is cheap, cheap. It really is. But um, I've dropped them down a little bit for you to uh, get a good bag and so run along and get them while you can. Thanks for watching. Take care. See you soon.